Hey, it's Carlos. You know, every woman has had a guy who seems to be stringing her along at one time or another. Maybe he just doesn't seem all that enthusiastic, or he's sending you mixed signals, or you just really don't know what to think. Well, we're going to clear up some of those things for you today. We're going to talk about the signs that he's stringing you along. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from DatingFlyer.com and DatingAdviceGuru.com. Welcome back to the dating and relationship secrets you need to know. Now, first of all, I'm going to assume that you want this guy to make some kind of commitment to your relationship, right? I mean, again, this is the most common situation that women have and the most common issue. The man doesn't seem to be interested in a relationship when the woman is. But it's not as simple as calling every guy a commitment phobic man. Obviously, this isn't true because for every married woman out there, yeah, she's probably married to a man. So as I've seen more than my fair share of relationships where the woman is on the way out the door to some other relationship because commitment is a two-way street after all. And the fact is that if a man isn't interested in a relationship, you could probably figure it out for yourself. Just check in with yourself. Really look at your own emotions, look at your own intuition, and see if you're ignoring the obvious signs. Sometimes, however, the guy is giving you some really wacky mixed signals and it's not always obvious. When I say stringing along, what I mean is he's one foot in and one foot out of your relationship. It looks like maybe he's waiting for something better to come along. Now, of course, you know he's not going to find anything better, right? Of course. But he also might not be seeing some signals from you that he needs to see to open up and move forward. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. So let's go through a few of the signs that he's stringing you along and how to figure out if there's still a chance to make a relationship out of this thing. Now, the first sign I want to give you is he won't call you his girlfriend. Yeah, this is one of those obvious ones, right? This is why I think many women manipulate things to try and make him say that. It's one of those put up or shut up moments in any starting relationship. If the guy won't refer to you as his girlfriend or he seems to be hesitant to label your relationship in some way, he may be stringing you along. You know, you're in conversation with your friends and him and then the topic of how you guys know each other comes up and boom, what's supposed to happen there? He's supposed to say, oh, this is my girlfriend. Or maybe he has to introduce you to a friend. How does he do it? Does he call you his friend or does he avoid labeling? It's tricky because sometimes a guy isn't really sure what he should be assuming. Let's be real here. Ever since the whole Me Too movement, men are very scared and hesitant when it comes to overstepping boundaries. He will probably hang back and just let it be what it's going to be for the time being. Now I know this can be confusing for you, so you need to seek some clarity. Next sign is he texts a little too much. This one can be confusing because you probably like getting a lot of texts from him, right? Am I right or right? It might be flirty. He might be slightly sexual. He might flatter you and use sweet words. You know what I'm talking about here. But if he's constantly lighting your screen up with text messages and not really asking you out on dates, now that's a problem. If a man is interested in you, he will want to see you in real life. This is a law. He should ask you out within a few days of meeting you or connecting with you. No man is going to be satisfied with just texting you, okay? In fact, most men really dislike texting. You can find that out from any one of my other videos. I can tell you this because I'm one of them. No matter how flirty a guy is, if he's serious about you, he will want to turn this thing into a face-to-face -face date, right? Nothing fun happens when you're on the other end of a phone line. So go ahead and test him. Send him a message about when you want to get together. If he hesitates or doesn't jump on that opportunity, you might have yourself a stringer. Next sign is he's a little bit too much in the moment. If he's very hot and cold where he can be texting you almost all the time one week and then the next week you're barely hearing from him, it sounds like he might only be in it for when it's convenient. A man should be at least reasonably consistent, especially if you're in the early stages of a relationship. And if he's inconsistent later on, he may be taking you for granted. See, sometimes guys will tell you that they are bad texters, and that's actually probably true, but it's also a common and very easy excuse to use with women. Don't label him a jerk, but don't let him get away with it either. Hey, are you wondering if he's the right guy for you right now? How do you know if you two are compatible or incompatible? It's always possible he's not seeing something something and you're not seeing something. So go find out if you're really compatible with him or not. Go take my quiz right now at datingfire.com forward slash compatible or just click the link in the description below. All right, the next sign is he stalls or gives you lame excuses. Yeah, I mean, really, if you have to find, you have to fine tune yourself to pick up on the BS signals out there. And what I mean by this is you have to look at the reality 
and accept it. Unfortunately, many women make excuses for guys so that they don't have to face the possibility that he's not really into them, that he might reject you. Don't worry, guys do this exact same thing themselves. It's one of the most common ways we delude ourselves and tell ourselves lies. Nobody likes rejection, period. But at the same time, resisting it when he's not into you is only gonna make you doubt yourself and waste time in a relationship that's going nowhere. If he gives you excuses about not wanting to be in a relationship, Drop him right then and there, immediately. Chances are he's gonna come running back to you and be a little bit more into you than he was before. Now the reality here is that men know that they can give you that excuse up front. And when things don't go the way he likes, he can bail using that excuse. Or he can try and turn you into a friend with benefits situation. Mmm, even better. And unfortunately, many women go along with this ruse. Don't let him give you this line up front or even later on. Call him on it as soon as you can. Next sign is he's not an initiator. This one is applicable for texting, asking you out, coming up with interesting things to do. When a guy is interested in a girl, he's going to work to win you over. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that one. Don't for one instant think that he's hiding his interest in you. Men can't do that. We're terrible at that. Men are driven to pursue women sexually because it's a biological imperative for us. Men don't get to be as discretionary as women do. We're forced by our biology to hunt. So if he's not initiating conversations or he doesn't initiate contact at all, waiting for you to do it, he's either a jellyfish, which obviously is not a guy you want to date, or he's just not into it. Some guys get used to being very lazy about relationships, especially if they are maybe above average in looks and they enjoy collecting women. Remember, if a man isn't working to win you over now at the start of a relationship, He's not going to suddenly start doing it after you get into a relationship with him later on. If you're familiar with my Super Bowl analogy, you know what I mean. If both football teams got to go and get a trophy for participating, right, the championship teams, and uh, on Super Bowl Sunday, how hard would they work to get to that place in the first place? They need competition. We need competition. Men need it. And men want to feel like they're winning a prize. Don't deprive him of that winning feeling. Psst. Hey, you like these tips? Go on, hit subscribe below, turn on notifications, and you can get these videos every week and I'll let you know when they come out. Next sign is he leaves you waiting and hanging. Now this one is just a general sign of unreliability, but it also can be part and parcel of his being a stringer. If you're always wondering if he's gonna leave you hanging and waiting for him on a date, or he tells you that he'll get back to you, but then he never does, you might have yourselves what we call in this business a stage four stringer. This is the kind of guy that is just plain unreliable. Sure, he may stand you up and then apologize later on, or he'll butter you back up again with flowers and sweet talk, right? But what he's really doing is managing everybody's opinion of him. Okay? If he's genuinely interested in dating you, he's going to make it happen. He's going to show up for it. This is the, the fact of behavior, folks. The dark side of this is that if you are a pushover or you're too nice, well, it might be time for you to lay down some boundaries because he's just walking all over you. Now, I recently did a video on how to make a man value you. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it, especially if this is your particular problem. The next sign is quickly jumping in bed. You see, some guys put in a ton of energy and effort to make you feel like queen of the world, right? With the obvious goal of just getting you into bed. Sure, the sex is great. He's enthusiastic and passionate. He says all the right, the nice things, the right things, but it's obvious that he's a horn dog and he wants to get it on as fast as humanly possible. If a guy wants a relationship, he knows that the price he has to pay sometimes is to have all the slow romantic moments in between those bedroom sessions. And honestly, it's not really a price. We don't really look at it as being a price. He's happy to do it if he's genuinely into you. Again, I don't want you to think that men are all the same. One of the most common things a woman says about a guy after she's been burned is, oh, men are all the same. If you feel like he's avoiding conversation and connection, stop it right there. You better call him on it right then and there. Don't let him get away with it. This is also another reason why you don't want to jump in bed too soon with a guy. You're going to find out much sooner what kind of a guy he is by making him wait a little for it. Don't let your self-esteem push you into bed sooner than you want. You will regret it. All right, next sign is he avoids compliments. Now this one's a tricky little psychological thing, but if you find yourself telling him, you know, you tell him how cool he is or how awesome he is, you want to give him a little bit of uh, positive strokes there, or you tell him just what kind person you think he is because you see he does have some good traits. 
And then he refuses those compliments. He pushes them away. And it's not just once, it's regularly. This could be a sign that he wants to avoid you having fall f to, to fall for him. Because deep down inside, he doesn't feel his worthiness. He knows he's not really going to go the distance with you. So there's incongruity there. He can't take your compliments. He's trying to keep things casual and avoid you getting too entangled emotionally. Hey, at least this guy has some moral core in there somewhere, but most guys will be a little shy, but they will just eat up compliments, the ones that do want a relationship. If he's avoiding them, you may be in trouble. All right, next sign is he's a coaster. If you figured out that you are the one that's thinking about him most of the time, that you're the one putting in most of the energy, and you're pretty sure he's not putting in all that much energy, you may be overinvested in the relationship. He's just coasting on your energy. To be honest, most men will do this if they think that the woman is more into him than he is into her. Remember, all re in all relationships, there's a little bit of give and take. You might be a little more into him this week, next week. He might be more into you. It should go back and forth, a little bit like tug of war, but you should be sharing the same amount of interest and desire. If that's not true, then you need to give him a shove right out the door. Don't try to pull him back through that door because that's going to backfire on you too. And he's just going to bolt anyways. Most women try to keep the relationship going by doing the work for him. And this is a big mistake, okay? You can be sure that eventually he will leave you if this is what you're doing. But there are other ways to get a man to see your value. You want him to realize what you have to offer him. You want him to see that you're the right one for him, especially if you put it in some time and energy into him and you see that this guy could be the one. Now, I just put the finishing touches on a new program that will help you win him back. And that's what I call the program, as a matter of fact. And the best first step for you is just to take my quick quiz. Find out if it's possible. Can you win him back? Go on over to datingfire.com forward slash win him back. That's datingfire.com forward slash win him back. The only way to stop a guy from stringing you along is to know how to trigger his desire for you. And I put it, I put together a ton of my best tactics to trigger men's desire in that program. The win him back program is guaranteed to get him moving one way or the other. Stop waiting on men. Guys don't know how to move relationships forward. You ever notice that? He's waiting to see signals from you. You want to know what those signals are? Go to datingfire.com forward slash win and back. Take the quiz right now. And I'll also show you a special video on how to get him to finally see you differently, to see you as a woman he genuinely wants. Hey, if you're new here, wait before you go. If you're new here, or even if you're not, do the big three, like and subscribe to the videos, get this stuff every week. Turn on those notifications. Click that little icon so you get the notifications when I release more incredible videos coming up very soon next week, as a matter of fact. If you're already subscribed, please share these videos with somebody that you know. Spread the word and get this great dating advice out there. Oh, and number three, comment below. Do you agree with the tips? Is there a video you want? Do you have an experience that I should know about? Leave me a comment below if you want that or a part two or anything. I do read the comments and I try to respond to as many as I can. Hey, don't forget to wait for a few more seconds. I'm gonna put up a recommended video here for you or two. Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo. As always, live and love with passion.